It's a mystery. Before the development of science and technology, man viewed the natural world as mysterious and sometimes frightening. People were confounded by questions such as, what is thunder? How are mountains formed? What causes sickness? Then, with the development of science, man started to find the answers to such questions. Now that we live in an age of advanced scientific knowledge, it sometimes seems we have unlocked all the mysteries of nature. Yet every so often, nature presents us with unexplained phenomena for which there are still no rational scientific explanations. One such phenomenon that has been reported around the globe since ancient times is strange rainfall. From such diverse points on the globe as the U.S., Europe, and India, people have periodically reported such things as fish, frogs, and snakes suddenly falling from the sky. In one case, in July of 1901, a sudden heavy rain of frogs and toads fell on the city of Minneapolis, Minnesota. A reporter who covered the event wrote, When the storm was at its highest, there appeared from the sky a huge green mass. Then followed a peculiar sound, unlike that of rain or hail. When the storm lessened, people found a variety of frogs three inches deep and covering an area of more than four blocks, so thick in some places that travel was impossible. Some people believe these events are caused by tornadoes that occur over bodies of water. The theory is that the tornadoes, whose force sucks up animals into the clouds, are also responsible for carrying the animals until they are dropped back onto land. However, this explanation has never been proven. It also does not explain why many of these rainfalls consist of only one species and why many of them consist of species that are not native to the area where they fall, but to an area many hundreds of miles away. Perhaps the rainfall that has most confounded scientists is a heavy red rain that fell sporadically on Kerala, India over a two-month period in 2001. According to locals who experienced the rains, there was a flash of light and a boom so loud that it shook the houses in town. And then the rain began. The Kerala rain was studied by scientists around the world. It became famous in 2006 when Godfrey Lewis, a professor at Mahatma Gandhi University in Kerala, made some astonishing claims about the rain. Lewis said that the rain appeared to be composed of living biological cells. However, he said that there was no evidence of DNA in the cells. As all cells on Earth contain DNA, Lewis concluded that the colored particles were living cells from a life form on another planet, carried to this planet by a meteorite. However, not all scientists agree with Lewis, and the origin of the red rain of Kerala is still generally considered to be a mystery. Another natural phenomenon that science has yet to explain is ball lightning. Ball lightning is the term for rare balls of light, usually at least as big as a doorknob and sometimes as big as a football, that float through the air during thunderstorms. These balls have no smell and no heat. They usually vanish soundlessly or explode with a loud pop when they come across something electrical, like a computer or TV. Although these strange electrical occurrences are not common, there have been occasional reports of ball lightning for centuries. One widely reported case of ball lightning occurred in January of 1984 in a Russian passenger plane. A Russian newspaper reported that the ball lightning flew above the heads of the stunned passengers. In the tail section of the airliner, it divided into two glowing crescents that then joined together again and left the plane almost noiselessly. Although the ball lightning left two holes in the plane, it has often been reported to pass through solid objects without leaving a mark. Because ball lightning occurs so rarely and unexpectedly, scientists have not been able to study this phenomenon, and it remains a great mystery.
In this age of advanced scientific knowledge, it may seem surprising that there are occurrences in the natural world for which we have no explanation. But perhaps it is a good thing that we have not unlocked all of the mysteries of the natural world. Such mysteries help us maintain a healthy respect, curiosity, and awe of the natural world.